we'll talk about here. that later because we have the uh, we have the South American belt happening right now. Use versus Kinda started things off here on Brawl Haven, and I think stage advantage is slightly. Normally, you would think Great Sword. However, the way Kinda has been playing, I don't know how I feel it, about that. It, I think it's 50 50, right? Because you've got the, the fact that Lucian loses out on that pull. Oh, Bro, come on. Dares. Another dare coming out right here. Use quickly touches, gets hit by the recovery. You lose out on the uh, on the force being too low as a factor, but you also get the runway for the Great Sword if you get that one dodge read. As yep. we just saw right there, use however getting hit by that side around the side. And like you said, Kinda's got that 12 to 8 set record. So he's got that winning record over Yu's, uh, and Yu's so far unable to get anything started here with the Great Sword. Yeah, he's been having a really tough about, uh, run about it as he drops all the way underneath to go sneak out that Blaster's recovery. They get the first stock. Now, probably not what Yu's was thinking what he'd go for. It's, actually, yeah, Yu's thinking what he'd go for in that situation. Oh, and now Yu's with the Great Sword goes to that Dare recovery. Tries to recover again. Side light, neutral light, say. Okay, that, that side light finisher right there. That's the runway effect yep. that I'm talking about here. You have only one place to land, and that's on the stage. And Great Sword loves just to carry you off of it once you get that one dodge read, and Yu's evens it up just like that. Yeah, Great Sword, once it's strutting its stuff down the runway, you are in for trouble. And Yu's has been doing that to a lot of people so far, other than just pretty much Impala. But you needed a stock like that, because Kaina, very similar to what he was doing to Boomy, oh. was running all over him to start off that match. I love that dare read coming out from Kaina, just barely misspaced it. And Kaina getting hit by the deal. side air, not going to go for the recovery there, and no. And too high off of the knockback for the side light to work out. Kaina getting as much damage as he can. Yu's getting hit by the dare, just landing right on top of Kaina, and Kaina covering that position. Lots of damage, but now disarmed. Has to switch over. Great sword primed. Let's see if he can get something started with this side light. No, neutral light bridge does not hit. You know, we talked a lot about how the Qatars have been pretty much the money oh. maker for him. As he gets, oh, oh my god, that was so important because it looked like he was going for recovery to try and catch him on, but Yu's gets back out of it. But the Qatars weren't even what got him up to this point in this, in this match so far. It's been all blasted. Yeah. This is the first time we're seeing it, and that recovery will take it out. Yeah, the neutral light recovery is fantastic there. I think Kai is trying to play a very well rounded Lucian right now. Yu's went for a really cool reverse side stick. Yu's that Jayun side stick airborne, you get that, that wind, that leaf effect rather than. Bring up the rubble of Brawlhaven. Um, <laughs> but he didn't make it manage to make that work. Kinda ends up getting around it, gets the neutral light recovery, and now Yu's taking some extra damage here as Kinda is really trying to extend this lead. One down light, doesn't get the neutral light. It was the right idea, just misspaces it. Yeah, it looks like Yu's just looking for that D light recovery. D light's here potentially at the ledge. Just kinda, again, simplicity is key. Get the damage out with the great sword, close it out oh. with the sword. But Kinda dipping away after going for that recovery, and a good job using the dare because he was already sweat beating at that point. Kinda was looking for a big punish. Oh, the down light missed space. It kind of goes right back out. He literally just walked slightly to the right to avoid that attack. And the down stick gets a quick victory for Kaina there in game number one. Is that Brawlhaven game went really. Double the damage there, 602 to 300. I swear, that was... amongst, like, usually when we see Lucian, we're always wondering, like, okay, when are they going to stop pressing that? Because they it's such a good Dude, option at so ledge. Kind of is one of the only ones I don't know when he's going to do it. Like, he's so yeah. reserved when he decides to pull it out. And it trips everyone up. It's such a great quick closer, and that's part of why he's so dominant in South America in many aspects Holy when cow. he is on a tear. Look at that grab there for for Kaina that's on the stock. damage being taken. He took maybe a hit every 30 seconds. That's what I'm looking at there, right? That was like the sideline opener to the bridge yep. into, all right, it's Kaina's turn again. Uh, we are off of that stage. Yuse is now taken over to the Fortress of Lions to go against Kaina, who two-stocked him on Brawlhaven, and despite we saw that one really nice stock where Yuse got one dodge yep. reading out of the sideline finisher, he never got the dodge read again. Nope, and that's why I think we've gone soft platform. If I'm kinda, I'm probably removing like Miami Dome or something for the picture so yeah. he doesn't play what he was doing in that previous set against Apollo, using that sword way more often here. Here, you at least have that mix up between both. Ooh, and the silent opener gets punished. That's a big risk that you run when playing Great Sword in general, is that um, a lot of players respectfully so we'll, we'll, we'll close the gap with a dash forward, down light, or side light, but you lurch your body forward with an attack, you go a little bit further with it, and if kind of spot dodges it, holds his ground, blasters are perfect for punishing that. You just yep. pivot the down light, and you get so much damage off of it. You essentially position yourself perfectly for them. They don't have to space anything. It's just right there, got free punish. Oh. Kind of looking for that stair, but use smartly using nice. that soft platform. d -Light recovery will give him his first lead of the set. Yeah, Fortress of Lions working a lot better for use after that two stock in game number one. Kind of... I don't even think D-Light neutral signature unarmed would do it, so he waits out for that weapon spawn, picks up the guitars, goes for the neutral light, and let's see if Yu's can get the extra credit. The Nair hits, falls the second Nair, maybe. Oh, kind of playing very risky for that second stock situation. Yeah, he wants it gone now. Like, no hesitation. He oh. finally decides to go off stage once again. Like I said, usually we're not, in, we, it's hard to anticipate when he will finally go for it, but he cannot find a second stock, because that stair should do it as we even it back up. I liked what Yu's did on that platform. I watched that a little bit more. 
Greatsword can go into bridges and finishers off of landing with an aerial. Yep. He landed with that down air, got the landing animation, but then just chased dodged off the platform to the left to reposition. We'll see if we can find out more clever Greatsword gameplay like that from Yuzu coming up. Well, but the sword's in there right now. Exactly. You're going to need all the tricks in the book to trip up Kaina. He's been very difficult to hit in general. I do like when I've seen great sword players start to go for a lot of uh, just straight up dares to try and trip them up. They oh. think that you go for a uh, uh, side blind starter. Well, instead, use is uh, use, utilizing the, the sword pretty well, but at the same time, Kaina is starting to, it seems like he's starting to figure it out. Yeah, weapon throw comes forward. Kaina dashes back with the guitars. Oh, and he might be. Oh, this is one of those situations where Kaina can't be too committal because he could go down to a delight recovery at this point, I feel like. I mean, Lucian's a little tanky. Now it's a, now it's not up in the air, right? That delight yeah. is going to finish it. And Kaina punishes him for it. Great damage stuff. Recovery gets him into the orange. Kinda, oh, there we go. Satellite nice. in. And that's going to get punished by delight recovery. I thought it would be enough as well, but one more of them definitely does it. And he just keeps weapon tossing in his face. Like, go ahead. Please try to delight. I don't care. And uh, he's going to fall. No, he's not going to fall to that there. That's, that's a pretty high, though. Yeah, that nares him incredibly high. Cider hits. Even with the bounce off the stage, is enough. Use keeps the lead here in game number two. He hasn't given it up just yet, but kind of could bring it back. I think Dila, no, 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 Dila like neutral that time around. Goes to the guitars, and that's a huge amount of damage. Use waiting so long on that punish, that was so scary. Use uh, could be one of the few, and that's not gonna happen. Use could be one of the few who could build a good lead onto Kaina. Kaina refuses to let anyone do it so far, Taza. What's been like the most difficult thing to deal with when Kaina gets into that defensive mode? I mean, the most difficult thing to deal with is the fact that if you miss the one attack that you go against Kaina with, you're gonna get hit by five Katara attacks. And we're yep. seeing that right there, right? With Yuz, with the sword, whiffs a dare, kinda dash forward, dash back, now hitting it with the reverse snares, the sidelights, all these things are getting started up here. And it is fantastic. Oh, but the great sword's picked up now. One okay. sidelight. Just gets punished. Yeah, sidelight coming in from Kaina again. He's always ready to punish it, but backs off looking for two and kind of just going high above it. Nobody's gotten a good hit in a little while. Goes back off for the D sync and he's now getting come up stage control, but not really that much done from Yuz. Boy, Kaina gets the downlight. Did he get anything else? Oh, he caught him out of the gravity cancel, but no, he doesn't get a follow up after that. It kind of lands in the nair, picks up a fresh pair of guitars. The neutral light, there's the bridge. He doesn't go for the finisher. He got the dodge and read it. Usually gets four attacks, no finisher. That could. Is that the neutral light recovery? That's going to be it. And he gets the game and kind of clutches game number two. I thought Yuz had the game there when he got that dodge and read with that side light opener. I thought that was going to be the game, but he doesn't go for the finisher. Stage moment, nerves moment. You cannot drop those. You cannot drop oh. those opportunities because, well, when you get leave those on the table, look at the damage that time. Significantly closer, 582 to 574. But we're talking about one crucial judgment error at the end from Yuse that separated this from being a two, excuse me, one to one set. Instead, now a 2 0 lead for Kaina, looking to find his way into that elimination semis. Yeah, and Yuse after the adjustment from Brawlhaven on the Fortress of Lions, we can see by the game development there, right? He was in the lead constantly, the stocks being taken off and such a fashion, and then at the very end, kind of took a three, such two, a quick game three one, stock, and this is a surprise. You thought, you and I both thought that kind of was taking the stage yeah, off the board. I think maybe no. kind of telling him, I don't really care anymore. Like, uh, like I, I'm, I'm completely content with you going to Sword because that last game he solved Sword so well that he's fine with letting him or, have this. He was like, maybe this will go better than the Fortress of Lions, because that was close. That was really that actually, close. That, you know what? That and, is a good point. That and he may point. just not want to go back there. Miami Dome is going to be the field here for game number three. You was fighting him off the side of the stage, and so that recovery to catch Kaina's landing, and the neutral light comes through as well. That is funny. We were actually ta we were talking about that. Like, like he had such a, a, a huge dominant win in that Fortress. I was like, no, actually, that no, was really close. I don't want to go back there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Oh, and it's working out well for him so far, but Yuz has been getting a lot of these wake-up nares, these down airs. He's been keeping kind of on his toes. He's all the way up in the air, sweating up to the bottom of the stage. Spawn comes in, and he waits out so long up that opener. No side air finisher there. Yeah, kind of smartly hovering away, not letting that happen. But this, oh, good fade away again from Kaina. The stair's going to push him back off stage. Kind of looking for that D-Light recovery pretty soon. That or just straight up stair might do it at Legend. That still will be enough. Yeah, the Darren Air, a really nice knockout finisher there for the Great Sword when you can't get anything grounded, but he still needed a little bit more damage. Damage. And after the second hits the first one, he's like, wait, you're South still America, there? Bro, South America loves throwing, throwing hands, bro. Like, yeah. it's like, we want all the smoke. Unarmed has been at least like eight of the KOs here in top eight from all of them. Well, in that case, Qatar is coming through there with that side air. Sense used off the right side of the stage, evened up, but used technically the one with the momentum here until kind of gets that weapon spawn. That works out for his favor. And despite Yuz having the stock lead, he is now the one at the weapon star position. Picks up the sword finally, gets a recovery. Let's see what kind of can do with this. Nice neutral light, recovery clap. 
flash. Stop Edge guard recovery. opportunity. Yeah, yeah, they stuck back on immediately once sweat, speed, uh, once sweat speeds were up. Yuz had a chance. He did not let him have it. Kind of going deep into the skies. He's going to for, go for a chase. And Neutralite into recovery won't happen either. So Yuz has been able to somehow dodge a significantly higher amount of damage that kind of is kind of leaving on the table. Kind of putting out nair after nair, falls with down air, neutral light bridge, goes in once again with the neutral light bridge with the pivot, the downstick avoided. That was an interesting usage of that. Usually kind of goes off stage with that attack. Silent Finisher, no! Kind of getting hit by a ton, but you switching over to the to the sword now, knowing, okay, I might be getting a ton of damage with the great sword, but kind of saving the dodge for the pivotal moment, for the finisher. Yep. So he's got to get that D-Light recovery, that true combo to be able to take the lead, but kind of gets his own D-Light recovery to bring it to a last stock scenario. One more of those Ajax and kind of knocks Yuse out at fifth. Yes, excellent patience from Kaina, waiting it out. He knew that, I mean, that's the win con. He knows that he's going to be hunting for it, but Kaina now, momentary lead, not a huge lead, but he's just got to build up the extra credit, get the extra damage and neutralize. Sare still building it up, tries to go for another Sare, and Yuse doesn't get much out of it. So he's just continuing as we see him finally go down to that Nair, one stack apiece, trying to keep this bracket run alive. All right, Yuse. Like you said, keeping that bracket run alive, has the great sword, wasn't able to deny Kaina from those blasters. Recovery coming through, falls to the down air. Let's see if he can do anything more with this. Staying relatively airborne and kinda dashing forward, dashing back. Really hugely committal with that neutral light. Gets hit four times by Yuz. The Sair doesn't get punished, and the down air comes through, kinda tosses the blasters away, being like, okay, these aren't working. I'm getting punished too much for it. And the guitars come through and Yuz taking to the skies, holding on that platform, and kinda can't reach with the guitars without committing to a jump. No, oh, and Ventaza is I mean he's, uh, he's oh. actually getting more in. All of a sudden things are working out. The weapon toss away. He's gonna go ahead and get back to the next great sword. And uh kinda now has access to blasters oh, too. The neutral oh, the Shit, but he doesn't get much out of it. The Seer pushes him away. Oh, Kaina kind of gets so much damage for it that now both players are a combo away. d -Light recovery would do it for Kaina. You could see him waiting for that landing. Just trying to catch that one landing. Yuz gets the silent opener. No Sarah afterwards. The dare. He lands with it, though. He can't get the dare. The recovery punishes Yuz. Drifting out. the other way. And Kaina with the pop-off gets the 3-0. And it embraces the very end to celebrate the fact that whether they win or lose, South America is moving on to the top four. Yeah, incredible job once again for Yuz. Making it all the way here to a guaranteed fifth place finish. He's going to fall to Kaina. Kaina, however, looking phenomenal with yet another W. And it's just so frightening watching the way he keeps his lead.